Hey guys, welcome back to the third video of my hanger. Um, in my previous videos, I was talking about hanger number one, which is this one, and hanger number two, which is this one, and now we're on to um, hanger number three. Um, so stick around. <laughs> Right, okay, um, so just to briefly go over my hanger number three. Um, this hanger, I it, I treat it like hang, hanger number two, where I don't really play with these hangers as much, but um, whenever I want to mix up my gameplay, I will play with either hanger. Um, so let's look at my um, Fenrir here. Um, so this was my first proper brawler robot, robot after the Leo because the Leo is um, pretty hardy, pretty durable and does take a bit of a smashing, um, a bit like the Fenrir. Um, so this robot here, I had, this was my first ever win in a, let's go back, in a golden loot box, which is on the black market. So I, I won my um, Fenrir in this super chest. Um, that's that. And the second robot is my ancient tier. Again, I won this not through the loot box, but through one of the crates, but in the previous um, crate box. Um, the behemoth was an interesting robot because this robot here, I didn't actually um, build or win in a loot box or crate box. Um, this was given to me because I never spent all my keys at the time so when I say keys, I mean in the um, the loot boxes. So at this point, I had 600 or so keys. And at the end of um, the black market, um, they gave me a behemoth. Um, so I tried that again last time. And I, but that, but this time around, I didn't get a um, behemoth or well, not a behemoth, but I didn't get a robot. Um, yeah, so... Moving on to my Strider, I bought this robot, um, really fun little robot, fun little dash robot, and then finally my Cerberus, which I had um, got through components in the crate box, but from the previous special crate boxes, and then finally my kid, obviously this was a Titan that you first got, or you first get once you hit level 30, I believe. Um, so yeah, so let's get let's get into it. So let's start with my Fenrir. Um, so this is such a cool little brawler robot. Now this setup, I initially had the Coronas on there. Um, so if we go to the store here quickly, I had the Coronas, and um, it was really effective um, shotgun setup. Um, so the Coronas plus my Thunder, and this is the only Mark II level weapon that I have in my hangar. And the reason behind that is because upgrading Thunders is quite cheap. And also, I believe I only got it to Mark II because uh, Pixonic were offering a, I think it was one gold to upgrade your fund, your your weapons to a Mark a Mark II. And the only other weapon that I got to, that I got to Mark II, I believe, was a Trident that I had on my Hades back in the day. So there you go. That's the other, only other weapon I have that is Mark II, but that's not being used at the moment. Um, so for for this setup, I now have Igniters which is actually quite fun. So the Thunder and Ignite is, um, is actually quite cool because once the Thunder stops firing its, uh, its clip, obviously it sort of fires when it reloads, uh, you've still got the Ignite is um, attacking the robot um, because it does take some time to um, empty the clip of the Igniter. Um, so really cool setup. So in a bit more detail, this skin here, I won, well, I didn't win. I got it through an operations pass. Um, and that's why I have this really cool Berserker skin. And um, yeah, so you get 5% extra durability with this skin, with some, with both special edition skins. And um, the abilities I have on this one give me an extra 15%. So I've got a tough guy, tough, tough guy Fenrir which has given me an extra 15% in durability, um, which is pretty awesome. And then also, I also have um, that second skill. I don't think I actually bought that. That was just there when I leveled up. And finally, the third skill is 
adamant roadhog which speeds up the robot um, obviously not as fast as a leech or um loki with that ability uh, but a really cool fun robot um moving on to my second robot which is my ancient tier um this i love this i love these uh these special robots that they do for the metas um especially the ancient tier because this robot when you see it on the battlefield um i always get confused by I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the hell is this thing because it looks really weird um i think that's one of the advantages of running the ancient tier is that some people or most players won't really know what it is and then because they don't know what it is um they probably don't know how to attack it because let's face it when you see a particular robot on the battlefield you roughly have a good idea of how to combat that robot um based on the way it's looking um so sort of like a leo when you see a leo you know that you don't really want to brawl with a leo same thing with a fenrir same thing with the Ares. you know but you but you know with the Ares, you can counter the Ares with a shield breaker as a um active module um yes yeah, so the fenrir so so the tier i have is a mix or a mashup of different weapons you see i've got the um halo corona is that what is that a pulsar that's not a pulsar that is a shredder and an ion um so mishbash i've literally just stuck any weapons that i've got available that are high level that suit my type of gameplay which is sort of distance shooting to be honest um works quite well with this robot um i don't really have any special tactics for this other than to sort of hang back heal my team take cover and um, try not to get in a sticky situation so some of the problems that i found with robots i have shape shift so for example the fenrir and the tier is that when you shape shift um to the ability where it makes it faster yeah you lose you drop your durability um so with the fenrir you basically have you have the shield that goes up the aegis shield and um, with the tier you drop your two weapons at the top and you start healing yourself but in those modes you basically can take on a lot more damage quickly um, so the resistance is deactivated when you're not in um, shape shift mode for these robots um, so that's the only trouble with what's well, not trouble you have to play you have to play it in a particular way to um, harness or to utilize these robots as best as you can based on their design features um so yeah my next robot here is my behemoth by the way i'm going a bit faster on my videos i noticed that my last video was quite long so i'm i want to keep this brief um so i have my my behemoth here and um i've got this really cool skin i think this skin i want in a in a um i think it was in a crate again in a crate and then I, with this i've i've been experimenting with my behemoth so at the moment i've got zeus's on it which i actually prefer now but before I had I tried tridents I had three tridents on it um got yes yeah, so I had three tridents on this thing and I had a shield um an answer okay right you're probably not why have I got so many shields for so back in the day I had this bright idea of sticking four of these on the behemoth but then I found out that you can't actually have four shields <laughs> you can't have four shields I'm so wasted by gold buying shields um so yeah, a bit of whack but um this is actually quite cool so i'd like to um i think i'm going to continue to level this robot up um and keep it as a distance shooter i'm not sure if i'm gonna buy any of the more expensive long range weapons such as the dragoon which is quite cool or the um where's it gone not vipers i might Tempest, actually, that's quite interesting, but I think I have to build components here. So I might try Tempest in the future, and I might try Flux. But I remember when I was playing Skirmish at one point, I saw Behemoth with a, Shim with a Chimera, and that was quite effective when I was playing with this. So it was a, it was a really weird game mode where um, I had a Behemoth, but um, it was like one of those weird special event games. Um, where you play like a really massive robot so before the titans were released there was a game mode where you would play 
you wouldn't play against a titan but you'd play against a behemoth but like that was 20 times the size and it was basically um the smaller behemoths and the raker versus this massive behemoth um and i believe i had the the chimera or the massive behemoth so i was like oh this is actually a pretty cool setup um so I might try Chimeras and Tempest at some point. I, maybe Flux as well, I don't know, because I get quite irritated with players who have the fl- like four Fluxes on the Behemoths and just take take you out. But um, based on my hangar, I don't really play against robots that, have, um, that are snipers um, unless I equip my robots with like long distance lasers, which is a match making system working there. Um, so this is pretty effective with the Zeus's and for this setup I have the Quantum Radar and I really love shooting at um, lower level O Johns because this can inflict some real damage. Um, but the only trouble really is um, the lock speed of the um, of the Zeus's versus the uh, the active period for the module. So it's got six seconds here for the Quantum Radar and then it takes five well what's the lock speed the lock speed does take time so what i do with the zeus is um i try to um let's say i'm on the battlefield and if i see an o john not in lift off mode but um, on the ground with another robot i will lock onto it's onto that onto the enemy teammate of the o john so that I've got something locked onto and then as soon as the Ojon takes flight I hit quantum radar and quickly switch targets to the Ojon um, and that's it bang I take a shot at the Ojon um, obviously at this level I don't do massive amounts of damage but if, if, I, if I'm playing lower level players or similar similar level level players even they do do a bit of damage um, obviously the, 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 the bad thing about the behemoth is activating the ability which enables all four weapons and then um, deactivating it and then moving out the way um, so um, this robot play style I have is basically take cover hang back and shoot from 600 meters away <laughs> um, right so the strider is like a really fun robot that I uh, first encountered when I was playing on the gold league and I saw this this weird robot just dashing around and at the time um, I just started playing war robots and the only robot that I knew that was a dash robot was I think it's called a dash it's called a bolt the bolt and I thought hang on a minute how come this guy is bolt like you know, dashing like five times or three or four times when this robot can only dash once and that's when I learned that the rod that the um, strider was a completely different robot um, so at that point I wanted this robot and I actually bought this robot I didn't want to build it I just bought it it was on special offer for five pound um, so with this setup, I have um, the rhymes, and I have the fair mic, which is a good setup. I basically stay in cover, and lock onto the target in cover. So with my fair mic, I lock onto the target, which has a short range of 350 meters. I take a shot, um, and then after I've taken my first, sh- as soon as I launch the rocket um, from the fair mic, I then dash out. And then just basically unload all the rhymes onto the robot until it freezes. Once it freezes, I then dash back into cover and then just wait about five seconds after that period to shoot the fermite. So the fermite has a reload period of 10 seconds. So I shoot this, um, I dash out, unload all my rhymes, which is now about five seconds in, and then I dash back in, and that's about two seconds in, and then after about one or two seconds after that, I then launch another Fermite, um, which should have more of an impact because at that point the other robot is a bit frozen. Um, so it's a really cool robot. I mean, at some point I might try different weapons on there. Like I've always wanted to use. Always keep forgetting the name of this weapon. Um, do do do. Ooh. Store. The weapon that I might try next is Shredders and probably a Glory. I don't know at the moment. But um, that's an expensive setup to build. But I might try it. And finally, my Cerberus. So this robot here is quite interesting because I actually didn't want this robot. When I got this robot, I was disappointed because I wanted the Ravana, as everybody does. Because the Ravana is such a cool robot with its um, with a special ability, which makes it go gold, and um, you can't really hit it. Um, so that's the robot that I was hoping for, winning in a crate box. But I didn't. I got this robot instead. And gradually over time, I've um, I actually enjoy playing with this robot because of the inbuilt weapon called Blackout, 
which basically it's an energy weapon and it's got a short range let's have a look go back to details so it has a short range of 350 meters and then what the weapon does it basically locks them down suppresses them and it also inflicts damage um, so it's a good combination and it works really well against titans in terms of just locking them down um, so I love locking down the kid because that's the only other road that's the only titan where I can sort of um, get close to and actually um, hit the robot with so for example the Arthur has a shield which and this weapon will not penetrate the shield or the Arthur um, and the Oming um, but obviously with the Oming you have to be quite close and you're at a disadvantage there because the Oming um, let's just say for example you're in cover with this robot the Oming can fly over your cover like a wall or something and shoot at you and kill you whereas the kid kind of has to walk towards you which gives you time to get away um, obviously keep away from the kid's special ability of the uh, I always forget what it's called it's stove yes yeah, so you, you can keep your distance and you can fire the inbuilt weapon and you can constantly what I find what, what I do is I constantly just um, suppress the kid and um, <laughs> that other player must get well cheesed off with, with this robot because it's locking them down it's suppressing them and it's causing some damage um, so it's a great fun robot um, so for this app I have Coronas which work really well and I have the Avalanche um, so I might actually continue to upgrade this robot with these weapons um, so it's, it's a good, I mean I might try with different combinations but at the moment I, the, the trouble is that as a player when you progress you don't most of your weapons aren't the same level so you can see I've got a whole bunch of weapons at all different levels and you can't really compare um, what the setups are like. So I think unless I get a test account at some point, I hope I get a test account, um, I'll be able to be better test a mishmash of different weapons and combinations and um, see how see how effective they are. Um, which is the only dis the only disappointing thing about this game is that you have to, you know you have to um, get the weapons and just try them out yourself. Um, yourself um, but um, yeah good fun so going to my titan now so obviously everybody gets a kid once you hit a certain level um, so I, I, when I first got my titan I started upgrading it to a level 9 and I did as you can see I did upgrade the weapons a bit um, but then I stopped and I started saving up on my oming um, so the kid is actually pretty good um, at countering both the oming and um, the Ar the arthur um, First of all, it's got the speed. So once you level this this bad boy up, it does it is pretty fast. Um, yeah, I suppose because it's it's like a walking titan, it's faster than the Alpha, and um, you can cause some damage to the um, Oming. But I think people prefer playing with the Alpha over this because with the Alpha you have three active weapons continuously whereas this one you only have two active weapons um, and obviously once you enable your ability which gives you extra resistance um, that lets you cause damage but um, yeah so I don't really play with this setup much uh, maybe now and then I mean I might change if I can I might change up some I might buy some save some platinum and change my offer buy another offer to be honest and have two Arthurs in my anger um, because I actually prefer playing with the Arthur compared to all the other Titans. Um, although the O Ming still does surprise me sometimes with his weapon set up um, for guns when you're flying, so it does deal quite a lot of damage. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have liked this last video. Um, I have uh, made it a lot more brief than the previous one, hopefully, but from what I can see, it's the same amount of time. Uh, if you have any questions drop me a comment um, if not subscribe and I'll catch you later um, one thing I forgot to say is that I will start producing um, gameplay videos um, so if you want me to try different robots with different setups I will try them if I have the weapons um, in, in stock um, but yeah I can go peace out